Hey, 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 welcome back. Most have noticed that I've been on hiatus for quite a while now, but did you know? Nah, no hook this time. Just talking, announcing, updating in roughly five to ten-ish minutes. So let's get into it. And here we go. Look, I just wanted to update the channels across social media from YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and even X or Twitter. But first, I would like to apologize for the severe lack of consistency. However, there's a lot of nuance to this, especially for content creators such as me for being part time. However, the lack of consistency is basically inexcusable at this point, especially when I said that I wanted to ensure good quality and consistency to the content across all platforms. With that out of the way, what do you mean by nuances? What kind of nuances? Well, for starters, it's difficult to stay competitive in the MTG community competitive and content space if you are, like I said, part time and mostly on my own, without a team, and again, no excuses. Once you open a business, that is your agreement to those who you are helping and providing products and services for to ensure that you keep on your own. Essentially, I was trying to do too much all at once. It bogged me down and pressured me into many directions to ensure to keep up with the content variety while also trying to stay relatively fresh. Basically attempting to cater to as much as the fan audience base as I could, yet that proved too difficult to do with the amount of time that I usually did not actually have, and while trying to stay the courses that I've set for myself, mainly the competitive scene. Another major nuance for me is how entrenched I get when it comes to certain games. It is borderline an addiction becoming psychotic because I have at times ignored basically everything around me to ensure a space within the MTG community. In other words, when it comes to magic, it's all I think and care about, especially when I'm bought in. However, recently, even though I was making videos at the time, being bought in, I wasn't really there. Now, even with all that, there is some good and bad news to this. The good news is, is my time with my profession will come to an end eventually with retirement, whether that be in the next two to four years. And my family gave me the green light in support of content creation. That's the good news. The bad news? You're going to have to wait just a little bit longer, at least until next month and possibly longer because of the holiday season and me getting all this stuff together to ensure that this happens. It did not help that Hurricane Helene came through and pushed it back even further given how much of it destroyed and how long it took for everything to come back to normal-ish. However, it is a blessing in disguise because it forced me to deep clean everything about my life to get to a suitable standard that I like. Having said all that, what does this actually mean for you? Well, my commitment to you, the viewer, the regulars, the supporters, the devotees, the followers, the etc. All right, is that all the channels will be at full operating capacity by at the minimum July, July, what am I crazy? January 6, 2025. Now, I could be operating at a full capacity a little bit earlier. But that's the all end date because that's when all of the holiday season's over. I go to training soon and there's going to be a lot of busyness in it. And that gives me a little bit more time to get into focus and being all in. What will be the focus? Well, competitive formats are really all I really care about and only on Arena, possibly on MTGO, but we'll see. And that's only given if Modern is an RC or rather a qualifying season for the regional championships, but mostly focusing on Standard, Explore, Pioneer, given MTGO, MTG Arena status. And then that, because those translate to paper. That's correct. I want to compete in paper again. It's really weird for me to not do so, or rather I should say, it's not that it's not weird because I haven't done it since, oh, I don't know, 2013, but we'll get there. What does that mean in the meantime? Well, Discord and Twitter have already been something that I've been 
active even on the hiatus, especially on Discord, because in reality, community is one of the most important things when it comes to the MTG space, especially for me. And that is to have a place where people can come, be safe and relaxed without any judgment while playing the game we all come to love and come to love and literally grow up with. And by grow up with, I mean that I've been playing this game for close to 30 years. Now, to conclude this on a more positive note, as if this announcement wasn't mostly positive enough, I really do appreciate every single viewer regular who have been with me since the beginning all the way back as far back as 2022 even when it looked like i was completely finished and i wanted to quit and give up mtg altogether and to seek out other opportunities elsewhere this is where i felt the most home even when we did not all agree and i can't wait to get back to work and making quality content again and that's really the big focus here is a, the essential quality not so much the quantity of the content. It's not about giving self-promotions or plugs or any of that. I just want to be working on something that to be better than yesterday. Stay tuned and you'll see an uptick one way or another. See that?